Hello once again and welcome to Fire When Ready for Emotionally14.com The brand new, well not brand new anymore, we've been around for about a month Yeah, yes. um, we, are, <laughs> we are Emotionally14.com's Star Wars Legion dedicated series for brand new uh, It's not even brand new anymore, the month old Star Wars <laughs> war game from Fantasy Flight Games uh, we're, good. We're, we're up, we're up, we're excited, <laughs> it's great to be here uh, I'm your host as always, Brad Harmer Barnes and I'm joined by my constant compatriot and we're joined our special guest today from both Emotionally14.com and the many Talk Star Wars podcasts, Rob Wade. Hello. 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 First, Hello. Time on, first time on Fire Win Ready. Yes. You've done Brick Fury with us before. This is true. Um, so, uh, people who may not have seen you before, it doesn't seem like there's going to be that many people who haven't seen you before. I was, to it. The conservative estimate is Billy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's um, a celebrity. Yeah. Well, you know. um, so obviously, uh, through doing, uh, you, you've been Rick Fury, you also do your own Hero Clicks. Yes, indeed. Yep. Well, E14 toy box. Yes. Yeah. Which has had a bit of Star Wars stuff, but not that much. But no, mostly Hero Clicks. Yeah, yeah. And um, obviously, you also do the Talk Star Wars indeed. podcast. Indeed. Um, so you're, you're both an experienced tabletop game and an experienced Star Wars fan. If by experienced you mean we've done a comedy show about it, then sure. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, have you played Legion yet? I've not. Have you seen it I in have. action? What do you think? It looks awesome. It, it looks like the war game you wish had existed when you were 15. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I'm put happy myself, around when I'm 35. I, I, yeah, I put myself off Warhammer when I was a kid because of the assembly, but this, I would make time for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're a lifelong Star Wars fan? Um, as long as I can remember. Uh, yeah. Which is, I mean, what, weeks at this point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said in the first episode, if, if people are age, it's, I'm almost, I feel like I missed it. I don't remember seeing Star Wars for the first time. No. It's just kind of always been there. Yeah. The only one I remember with any clarity is uh, seeing Return of the Jedi when it came out as a special edition in 1997 because it went for my birthday. Okay. That's the only reason I remember that's that. That's, that's an feeling yeah. very old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he remembers when there were no Star Wars movies. This is true. <laughs> The dark times. <laughs> <laughs> Probably even before yeah. Empire Magazine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, do you have a famous Star Wars movie? It's. I haven't done my order in a while, but yeah. uh, last time I did the order, it was Empire. But then Rogue One's come out since then, and I'm, I'm that's kind close. Of that way. I'm, I'm yeah. going that way. Sith Empire and Rogue One are really close for me. Yeah, that's that would be my top three for sure. Yeah, and Jedi's up there as well because I, I have cool. lots of nostalgic memories of yeah, that. Yeah, totally. And the Super Nintendo game especially. But yeah. Uh, favourite Star Wars character? Would you be your favourite good guy and favourite bad guy, if you like? Right, so, favourite good guy... Probably Obi-Wan, I guess. Yeah. He's, 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 a good, he's a good standard. He's good at kind of turning... Especially if you're into the, the books and the comics, mm -hmm. and the, or what used to be called the Expanding Universe. Yes. Um, he's very good at turning up and just kicking everyone's ass. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. It's a start in a fight with Obi-Wan never ends well for no, anyone. No, it does not. This is no. true. I mean, we have film evidence of this. We have... <laughs> several... <laughs> He's responsible for my favourite gift. Yeah, that's still a thing. <laughs> um, otherwise, Jedi Luke from Return of the Jedi. Oh yeah. I was, as a kid, I was fanatical about him. In fact, I was thinking about this the other day when I was a kid and we had the VHS copies. I used to, as much as possible, watch it dressed in black. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know, a bit weird, but yeah, no, that's that's cool. Cool. looking back, it's a bit weird. Yeah, really, At the time, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah, you know? yeah. And the same thing about Moonwalker and silver and like, shiny gloves. Yeah, very odd. That was that was weirder. Yeah. <laughs> you turned into a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I turned into a giant robot as well. It was a weird. I had a weird childhood. It's why yeah. I really loved them. Do, do you have a favourite bad guy? I have a feeling I know who you're going to say. Oh, do you know? I would say Thrawn. Yeah. Oh, that's really? Was, yeah. Okay. That's a temptation. That's although a bit I, out of left field. It's kind of Legends Thrawn yeah. though. Um, okay. Yeah. I do like me some Palpatine. Yeah. Uh, I mean, obviously, I have the man crush, the the Krennic man. Crush. I was going to say, is it awesome Krennic? Was going to be my. Awesome Krennic is a favourite of mine. Yeah. He's got a cape and everything. Oh, he, he does. does. <laughs> he, has a, he has a sweet cape. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's so cool. He, uh, he basically throws tantrums with Tarkin. It's amazing. It's great. Yeah. Which, is, which, is, uh, which is our title of our spin-off show, Tantrums with Tarkin. <laughs> so look out for that. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he, I like him. He's obviously the, the movie, he's only got one movie to go off and like yeah. a couple of time books. But, yeah. you know, what I've seen of him, I, I absolutely love. And it's Ben Mendelsohn, who's you know, he's fast really becoming cool. somewhat a favourite of mine as well. Yeah. yeah the stuff really I've seen him in. Every, I'm, I'm noticing him in more and more stuff now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rewatched The Dark Knight Rises the other week and I was like, Mendelssohn! <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, where's his sweet cape? Yeah. Shut, <laughs> that, shut that movie off. Have you got a cape down spare you could do? 
we'll make one. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. There's, there, there was an episode of Rick Fury where Doctor Strange's cape fell off, and then on his Instagram <laughs> for the next six weeks, he was just putting the cape on things. By the end of it, not even hero clicks, just things he could fit the cape on. <laughs> That P looked nice. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the P, that was a sorcerer, sorcerer Supreme. That was, that was like an Omer level pun, I do apologize. Um, anyway, the reason we're here yes. is for an unboxing. The reason we're, what we're going to unbox is we're not pulling any punches, we're unboxing all of the Wave 1 expansions. Oh, I thought the first one was sexy. All of them. Sexier still. Yeah. So we have. Don't compare. Oh, we don't have to compare. We have uh, mm-hmm. Rebel Troopers. It looks like they're going to be more of the same from the core set. Yeah, there you go. Yes, definitely. That yeah. sounds reasonable. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You know. We have these 74Z speeder bikes, which in our test game were very well received. They get across the board. And that, that front cannon has got a serious kick to it. Yeah, yeah. it does rock. They yeah. was, uh, they're super, because every time you activate them, they move the maximum speed length tool. Yeah. And then you activate, can, you've you got to move them, and then you can take oh, your turn with okay. them. So they are very fast. And they can like fly over the top of troops and that's just They right. can. Uh, more stormtroopers, more cannon fodder, so or a, the Empress Finest. So that that that. Um, looks a similar, some, like maybe a missile rocket, rocket launcher. Yeah. I'm going to take a gander. Yeah. Um, we have, oh, another one that went down very well in the test game last episode was the ATRT, which again had a serious yes. wish yeah. and was one of three units eliminated by Darth Vader. <laughs> or by himself. Yeah. Darth Vader clear pass. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you I know think, what? I've, I've got a feeling speed. Why not? <laughs> initially, initially, that surprised me, but no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think the speeder bike damaged this when Vader took it out. Vader took oh, out yeah. Luke. Yeah. And then Vader took out a completely undamaged five-man squad on his own in one dice roll. <laughs> All I'm surrounded by is fear. Yeah. <laughs> There's certainly what a line that is. Certainly a Rogue One feel about it. Yes. He, he, yeah, he went Rogue One. Yeah. Um, so, but uh, if there's two ATRTs, that could be fun. Uh, we it's also have this is experience. something that's not in the core set. Uh-huh. We have the T forty seven S. Brilliant, yeah. nice. Brilliant. Nice. As, obviously, as featured famously in Battle of Hoth with mm-hmm. Luke and. Well, they've got the climatization for the snow. Yeah, yeah. We'll, yeah. We're, we're playing. That's sorted out now. We're playing in woodland. That's not a that's true. deal. Watch out for the trees. Yes, <laughs> that seems reasonable. I'm hoping, <laughs> I really hope it flies. New pilot. I really hope it can fly <laughs> tow cables. Yeah, be, I think yeah. I feel like I've read somewhere that they do. If it doesn't, that's that's a shame. Yeah. yeah. Because it might need them to take down the ATST. Ah, uh, yes. So the Empire's so got sexy. big guns. Yeah. Big uh, guns. Three, uh, yeah, three unique weapon items as well. Wow. Right, yeah, for that. <laughs> There's a picture of a. Of, you, we'll, we'll show you the unboxing, but there is a little graphic. It's a little graphic of the height comparison with the Stormtrooper there. Yes. <laughs> Blimey. So okay. look forward to that. Who is that Ewok fur? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never so that, that's for Wave 1 expansions for Armada, which is going to make that's, our games that, even bigger. That's even quite a more step up from the course there, isn't it? Yeah. It's Legion, yeah, sorry, Armada, yeah, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. That's, I? I did that in the test game as well. Uh, yeah, this is the Legion Wave 1, one Armada's way ahead. Um, and again, uh, box art-wise, initial impressions? They look pretty good. I mean, they, they blended in a sort of nice... What they've done nicely in these on these expansions, I think, is... <laughs> Is I'm to, kind of aware it's not in shot there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So to you can see here actually really well on the ATRT, they've kind of blended them in with scenes that look like they're from the films, even though they're not. Yes. So okay. like this one here is almost like a Scarif style. It is very scary. Yeah. Yes. Oh, lots yeah. of yeah. lots of battle going on in the background, clearly, and they've they've done a good job of making this look like it's a war game. Place. You know, they make yeah. it look yeah. like a war game. Like, like I said, when you box uh, the unboxing for the core set, we yeah. did. I absolutely love this logo because obviously it's the Star's logo, but the way it's arranged, it doesn't look like a board game. It doesn't look like a war game. It's, it's like almost like a posh hotel. It, yeah, like a or, business it, or, it, yeah. it looks it, grown it's up. up. It looks it's expensive. Grown up logo. Yeah, hotels yeah. and expensive yeah. chocolate have logos yeah. like yeah. this. True. And yeah, yeah, they, 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 they dropped the yellow outline and made it a bit more yeah. grown up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It must, and I, I do love G Games Workshop as well, but they wouldn't do a logo like that. No, I still true. favor the very 2008 comic book like, or heavy metal band logos, yeah. which this isn't. I will say Hotel Chocolat's Wave 1 has been rubbish. <laughs> no, no speeder bikes anywhere. No, That's ridiculous. If, you, if you're listening, <laughs> sort it out. If you don't, the Disney store will. Um, so, shall we see what we've got in these exciting little holocrons? That's what we have. I think that's what we have. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your destiny. <laughs> uh, guys, we'll see you very, very soon. Let's see get soon. on with this. Okay, first box set of Wave One is the Stormtroopers Unit Expansion. Pretty picture. Or possibly the Stormtroopers Unit Expansion. <laughs> <laughs> 
So again, nice artwork. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Generic yeah. battle tepid armor indoor type battlefield. And yeah. it, the figures look like the feathers that we um we found in the corset. They do. Yeah, yes. which is reasonable. Is it open from the top? Yeah. Let's find out. It's my first time. Yeah. Yeah. It's my first time doing this. It's our first one doing these. So oh, true. Really yeah. Good, of course, uh, yeah. Right, so inside we've got all our little bits of uh, black plastic. Resin, right? They call it resin. Uh, I'm not sure if they're plastic or resin, actually. I, I, I just oh, they're two different things? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Not metal. Yeah, metal is definitely not metal. Metal is yeah. a separate thing. They're really bagged separately. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to pass it, No, yeah, so... Kind of fairly simplistic, just got like uh, this is not one of the, too much gluing. See, this is one of the things that appeals to me about this because mm. what's always put me off things like Warhammer is having to put on things like shoulder pads. Mm -hmm. like, who has time? Yeah, of course, it was pretty easy to assemble actually. Yeah, yeah. And the, I mean, the New Games Workshop stuff by all accounts is very this much is easier, better. but yeah. you know, this this to me is quite appealing because it's yeah. it's relatively sim it's simple and it's not there's not a lot of moving parts mm -hmm. that can go wrong, which yeah. for me is a, is a risk. We've got a nice little kind of nice picture of how they go together. Okay, yeah. Again, does look pretty simple. There's only one, maybe two parts to each and one. Yeah. Good. We get, you get some extra cards as well. See, from my understanding, this is quite common for basically any fancy flight Star Wars game. They tend to put some extra tokens in the box. Oh, I've them. got so many. Come you got your basic action. You got your. Yeah. You got your more than I would ever use. Yet at the same time, when more arrive, I don't throw them away. No. So I just I must have like a hundred weight of those plastic order codes. I've had samples. to go. Yeah, I've had to go through and uh, cull a lot of my cardboard X-wing tokens mm. in the same way because I, I picked up a lot of them over the years. And it is good, but um, if you no matter what expansion you bought, if you only had a core set, oh, totally. you've got expansion. Yeah, for sure. You need. For sure. Yeah. So we've got um, a base card of Stormtroopers okay. with with Precise One, which is the similar yeah. to the Corset card. Yep. Yeah, and we have, obviously, they come with their uh, activation markers, yep. so there's nothing okay. you can um, see, and you don't have to replace one yeah. ones from the Corset. We've got some cards yeah. here. Um, obviously, we've only, at this moment, played the uh, introductory game, yep. but we've got Stormtrooper the, card. As, 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 as Stormtrooper. As, as, that, that sounds familiar. The DLT-19, which is a familiar the card to me. The 42 yeah. yeah. So, for somebody who's less familiar with the game, mm -hmm. like myself, these little numbers in the corner, are they points costs? Yes. The bottom, in the bottom right corner they here? They are, yes. Yeah. So they're points costs for the... Yeah, they're, they're like the upgrades. And, the and, little, okay. and that means you can exhaust the card as well. So, there's, there's obviously a heavy trooper. So, some yes. stuff you yeah. can discard and some stuff you exhaust. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, I, 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 rocket launcher. We have uh, impact grenades, which I think may oh, be... I don't the, think we've seen that before. Okay, and then that's the other grappling hooks. It may I don't be think we've seen that before. It so may be the, obviously uh, because you can raise terrain yeah. in this game. So you've got the impact grenades. I've got impact, which is anti-armor, so they're better built for taking out vehicles. Yeah, okay. good. Um, grappling hooks. You get to play ex. You gain expert climber. I'd have to get the core or the well, yeah. But that, obviously the ATRT is a climber, so it's obviously some way of actually pursuing that or yeah. getting away from something if you can actually climb up buildings. Makes yeah. sense. So it makes me wonder if you haven't seen the rocket launcher card before. Is the model? Part of this, um, yeah. Um, so it, it was the impact grenades and the grappling hooks. I didn't think. Oh, so yeah, the, every kind of, the, the special item would have a specific model for it. Yeah. yeah. So I would take it. It's uh, he's around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. yeah. Then you got the this fella here. So there's a nice pizza. kind of foil like for um, the ATRT. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's one of those. He's got a repeater, and then this fella here looks like. Uh, units that have the expert climber keyword are adept at quickly scaling vertical surfaces. When a unit that has the expert climber keyword clambers, it does not roll any white defense dice to suffer wounds. So it sounds like it gets an extra save if it's mm -hmm. um, difficulty climbing a vertical surface. Okay, following up on the infantry front from the stormtroopers, there's the rebel troopers unit expansion. Again, a nice kind of generic plainsland yeah. battleground. Looks like a nice Decent picture artwork. of combat. I like that there's always a bit of the artwork overlaps onto the black logo section as well to mm -hmm. kind of break it up. Yeah. Um, Looks like the same sort of sculpts from the core set, which isn't it? Which was, I think, was all humans. There was, there was one Duro in there as that well. That sounds familiar. Yes. Yeah. Now here's a question I have. So mm -hmm. these bases are a different colour to the ones yep. in the Stormtrooper set. Is that Rebels and Imperials differentiate? Uh, or is that it, seem, it seems to be um, purely for, if you're playing unpainted, it's easier to okay. Okay. Table table. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. That makes sense. I was wondering if it might. So it's easier if you're playing unpainted, like some sort of savage. Oh. <laughs> Which I might have to do, yeah. just for the lack well, of... Well, I would say about the box, the protection's good. There's yeah. a nice bit of airspace. I mean, it's reinforced cardboard, so it's going to arrive okay. You hear that, Protoss? Quick assembly. Quick assembly. And again, not, none of them have got more than two bits to the one. See, again, that's for me, yeah. that's some real... That's, that's, that's that's doesn't, doesn't sound yeah. too taxing, then, does it? No, no. no it's it's on the back, you know, the, your credits. And yeah. I, I, I've always liked this about Fantasy Flight, is if you need sleeves, they're going to tell you which ones you need, which mm. is quite handy. Sculpts looking good, or I think they're similar to the core set, aren't they? 
I like that <laughs> it's step two is assemble each miniature using the correct parts as, a, as if you were going to go, let's chuck a few Space Marine arms. <laughs> I mean, I might. Yeah. <laughs> Can't say I wouldn't. I've got that Constantine now. This one's got an ATSD leg. Yes. They, are, they do seem to be human except for one. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a Duro, I think. Yeah. Rob could probably eyeball that. It is, uh, I believe, a Duro. I, I seem to recall seeing that on the box. Uh, again, oh, that's uh, cool. <laughs> the same sort of card out as, yeah. as the other one. Obviously, I also, uh, I, 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 uh, always, I love Rebel. Fancy Flight's card components. Yes. They are the bench bar, that's which I judge nice all card, card components. Yes, agreed. And you've got your little red bases there for yeah. differentiation's sake. Cool, so it's a lot of suppression, ion shock token. Okay. Uh, dodge, aim, and again, yeah, you've got iron weapons totally in this one, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, um, yeah, and the trooper marker. You've got uh, the standard card from the core set, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a number of extra cards. We have the rebel trooper, we can add a mini. Stand by. Uh, we have, um, which is essentially Overwatch, right. Impact grenade, so they're kind oh, of uh, got the same, same sort of weapon the in there. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, got Crack grappling race. hooks. He's also available to okay. not That's just cool. um, so uh, in the Empire. Um, this looks quite sexy. This is the Ion Trooper. Nice. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. Which, which we true. haven't used, obviously. Um, yeah, he's in the corset, but we haven't used corset. him in the Just enjoying yet. the particularly unfortunate placement of this arm. <laughs> 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 Colonel Nads for arms. <laughs> And a Z6. Not the weirdest thing in the year. I know. We have a heavy weapon, which is a Z6 trooper. Yeah, that's yeah. the uh, the bow tree cannon. There's an old regiment yeah. of these. Yeah. <laughs> he's got an arm for Nads as well. Not Breaker Squadron. Yeah. No one ever seems to want to shake hands. <laughs> well, they never sure, Sarge. <laughs> when you got General Arse awesome. Hands going as well. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, good set again. Uh, faction neutral. Yep. Expansion yeah, cards. Fine. And yeah. some extra troopers you gave us. Yeah, it's cool. Well, it's good in the sense that you don't need the, you know, the extra cards. You, can, yeah. you still have the cards even if you only buy one set of. Well, I don't remember. Is this a new card? Okay, the seven four Z speeder bikes unit expansion, obviously with the Empire faction. Nice big Imperial logo on the front, and some indoor stroke Takodana stroke Yabin forest background there. Yeah, that's what we, we kind of. Yeah, and again, I love that the artwork well. bleeds over onto a logo side of the board as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And on the back, you got the mm -hmm. sort of the mock-up of how two speeder bikes. Uh, they both seem to be sitting normally in the core set. There's one guy. Oh, there's one guy leaning. Shoot, you've been a bit of a gangster and shooting back. But this one is posed differently. There's, they've got one leaning forward so over. Alternates. And then. Alternates. Uh, oh, alternates. Scotland. Yeah, I think, I think that guy might be the same. Guy. He's got yes. his hand blaster. It's just yeah. 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 So they have kind of modified those. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe yeah. the other guys are subtly different. They might be maybe. slightly different. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You want you'd want to sort of you know you do, you do make it a little it. bit more oh, interesting yeah, totally. for those who are buying separates because I mean these are not you know they're they're good value but they're not cheap. Yes, absolutely. Oh, other way up it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out okay, so that's it's, plastic stuff. It's, it's sensitive in that respect, but again, you okay. should if you if you're buying mail order, no um, worries, you should survive. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's a good good packaging there. So we've got our speeder bikes having mm -hmm. a nice cuddle. <laughs> and then our pilots, I don't know what they're up to. I'm from the marquee yeah. of the side. Obviously, a more but, complex than uh, a trooper. It's, it's a more complex yeah. model here, this yeah. one. But I, it's but, um, I haven't put together, I was wanting to put together ones in the core set, no trouble at all. Yeah. I, was, I was expecting a faff with a little blade. Well, the, the, the front. time, those. Yeah. I was not anticipating trouble with the blades on the front being fiddly. I was worried about the. Stormtrooper positioning correctly so that A, his butt went on the seat, B, his feet went on the pedals, and C, the control sticks dots into the holes on the body of the model, mm. and they all did perfectly. Oh, nice. nice, that's oh, good. good yeah. Uh, yeah, so no, there's no, no the fitting on that. Yeah, it's like all the yeah. bits and additional bars mm -hmm. and controls and pedals, maybe. Yes. And you got this little craft your nightmare going on. <laughs> And this is uh, everywhere. Look. <laughs> like a there's, there's the operating slots and firing arcs on here as well. So oh, okay. Yeah, so it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the movement tool docks in the front, but kind of like the Armada one does. Oh, it's the, I see. Your okay. Slots into it. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Nice. Nice touch. Oh, nice. So that's not the case on the stormtroopers and stuff. They just move. They just stand in place. Yeah. yeah. So obviously cards again, uh, damage cards. Um, yeah. Overwatch and that's what, and obviously. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, 
What about the marker was called? Green one. No, and it's a standard card thing. that comes with the corset again. Yeah, yeah. cool. So another squad of two speeder bikes. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, okay. Uh, we've got long range com link, which okay. I think means that we don't have to be in close proximity to uh, During the command phase, you may be issued orders as available. Yes, yeah, so even if yes. from. Yes, yeah, so you would so nominate Vader as your commander. And normally, Obviously there's like a range of one to three is who you can give orders to. Right. If they could be on the other side of the map, and you'd still be able to give Which, them orders. Okay. These fellas can't be on the other side of the map. Oh, yeah. Very quickly. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> even even I can with that. <laughs> and we've got two cards saying uh, comms jammer. Okay, so double that. Enemy units at range one cannot be issued orders. Oh, wow. So you can so, have them across the board, prioritise their orders, and jam the enemy communications. Nice. Right. Good. But you've got two cards for that, so... Yeah, you can give it to both if you can give it to one of the core set as well. They can't but separate, but obviously, yeah, you've got one for your core set. Yeah. So you could actually... Um, um, although it's limited to any unit that's got that icon, which I forget mm. what that's called, on the... Um, same as X-Wing. But obviously that's part of the next phase of the game. That's symbol to the upgrade symbol. It has to be but on the card. there's nothing saying that's exclusively to the speeder bikes. It's no. just someone who's got that icon symbol in the upgrade bar. Yeah, yeah so if we true. get, like, uh, later on some sort of tech droid... Yeah, you probably could I do could something like that. Stick it in a gonk droid if you Yeah. Copy. Yeah. Chopper. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on to the ATRT in expansion for the Rebel faction. Um, during the test game, this was incredibly punchy. Because decent armor. Took some punishing yeah. until Lord Vader turned up as well. <laughs> um, as Rob mentioned in the opening section, there's quite a Scarif vibe to the artwork yeah. there. Um, there's again some, like, some green and brown jungle camo mm -hmm. on the wall for itself. Because those things need camouflage. Yes. Imagine they're subtle otherwise. <sighs> yeah. this, ah, see? Um, uh, that's similar, a similar packaging to the previous model. Okay. Didn't open the right way around this time. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> Why, it was me. <laughs> Um, obviously a bit more complex to put together, yeah, but not impossible by any means. Yeah, but uh, I thought when I put together one in the course set, it was, it was a cut, this was slightly harder than the uh, speeder bikes, but by no means a difficult model. And you found things located well, um, and that's Yeah, there was a, a little bit of force and a little bit of bending on the leg struts, but um, they all went in fine. Mm -hmm. um, certainly there was nothing I would say was beyond beginner model making, because it was just gluing it until it worked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's been always been my motto. Yeah, uh, no, they're, they're, they go together pretty easy. Very little. Uh, well, I will say across the Legion stuff in general, very little clean up involved at all. It's hardly yeah. any flash. The flashing on the no. is really good. Flashes from the sprue cutting, or uh, from the mold processing, you get a little bit of. Um, oh, okay. Looks like a flat skin thing. You know, you just no, oh, I know. That's like, a good yeah. point, though, Rob. I mean, the, 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 they obviously clean the sprues off as well, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, when we found the core, we expected it all to be on sprues. Yeah, it's like, not. That's it's exactly. Like and gone. We, like, we find that bit the most fun. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Where's my sprue cousin? Yeah. Yes. Barry? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Anymore? <laughs> I went to college. So this is another one of these. So this, so the movement dial, the ruler goes in. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's plastic or physically doxy. It's got a joint. Uh, one uh, one and this, oh, this okay. is a machine that can actually reverse. That's unique well. to machinery. Uh, yeah, vehicles. Yeah, vehicles. Uh, no, no, infantry use it as well. I don't. Yeah, yeah okay. Actually, and I was, I, was, I was incorrect last time. Okay. So the card. Um, vehicle, obviously everything vehicle we damage markers, aim marker, dodge marker. Uh, that's uh, obviously damage. damage um, activation. Yeah, this one, right? Uh, yeah, it's the is uh, yeah, red red stars of damage. It's aim, dodge, and these are vehicle, vehicle, vehicle types critical of, damage. Yeah, it would be okay. you have to roll the dice to work yeah. out whether what you're not allowed to do after. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah okay. Like, Bits can yeah. backfire. You can yeah. slow yeah. down. It's like X-wing has the the critical hit. Yeah, right? the crit well, deck and the yes. Yeah, they spider. kind of lose yeah. an action, or or um, yeah. or they can actually just not be able to reverse and oh, okay. things like that. So they might lose abilities. They might lose stats. Yes, that's right. Okay. This looks like again the same card from the core set. It's the same machine, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Um, we've got a long range com link, so similar to same the, uh, same the, the speed speeders, yeah. yeah. Okay, same, so and, they, they and correspondingly, the comms jammer. Okay, that makes yeah. sense because we yeah. obviously they're the um all terrain recon transports, so we've to have those abilities make sense. Yeah, what well, I would, well, I would kind of say about this. the yeah. imperial um one is they get two comms jammers, and so you've you got one because he's one model. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so were there two models? 
Yeah. Possibly, yeah. 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 Makes sense. Um, obviously, then we've got an arsenal of weaponry here. We've got okay. uh, a rotary blaster. Yep. I'm not saying it looks like anything from 40k. Um, That's a good. laser cannon. They seem to yeah. put ER on the end of their words. Um, and a pretty hefty flamethrower. Okay. That's pretty cool. So another ATRT is quite a popular piece from the core yeah. set. So yeah. nice. yeah, people will want to double up on well, that. They are, yeah, you'd have to choose your loadout there. Mm -hmm. uh, from the beginning. Not interchangeable during the combat. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay, on to the new thing, which is the Rebellion this is exciting. T-47 airspeed unit expansion showing a squadron of three T-47s flying through. Well, it was probably the biggest cannon in the background, yeah, wasn't probably. it? Yeah, <laughs> probably. Go and get those warm hands. Yeah. Nice dramatic artwork. One yeah, it looks like we've got one so and... Uh, there's a little scale demonstration of how high that thing flies oh, yes. above a rebel troop. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. Um, yeah, you can see how you obviously can fly above. Yeah, two, two weapon modifications. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Cool. <laughs> And I have got Ah, here it is here. Right. So. Oh, that's big. Oh, it is rather. Yeah. Crikey. Now that. <laughs> that's enormous. It's an uh, English belly for you. In one of my hands. Yeah. Just Rob's, 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 maybe not use Rob's mouth. I want your wagon wheel this size. For those of you who've never seen before, Rob's hands are massive. Yeah. And yet, yeah. still dwarfed. Yeah. That's, by that, that, is, that's, that is bigger than I was anticipating. It's rather big. You get, a sense of the, you get a sense of the vertical scale from the diagram. You don't get a sense of the, no, whole, sort of the, 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 the overall that's a, surface. It's a big ass base as well. It is rather, yes. Um, right, so we've got our assembly guide here. Assembly guide. It looks like most of the structure's there. So, yeah, yeah. it's like a bit of chrome, is it air brakes. Um, yeah. Oh, the, the actual kind of aerials that go on the front yeah. and the, and the cannons. There's a few on the side there. Yeah, it's got bag. air brakes and weapons and maybe a couple of little bits of chrome need to go on. Yep, and then there's most the, of the structure is there. And then there's the base. Oh, the flight stands for awesome. The flight stands and the base for movement. Pro tip, paint before you put the flight stand in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Makes sense. Uh, so we've got the, the chicks. Yeah. Which is... Um, yeah, so critical damage, damage, activation, aim, and dodge. Good. The four Ds of dodgeball there. So this is what we've seen to new, 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 new ground here. Um, we've got fixed front. The defender must be inside your front yes, arc. Front so that's fair arc. enough. It's a yeah. front firing weapon. Uh, also impact three while attacking a unit that has armor. Change up to three standard explosions to crits, crits basically. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, Seven points of damage. Let's put old that so you can really look at it. Yeah. So you've got armor, he's got Arsenal 2, which is something you don't hear often enough. While attacking, each minion this unit can use up to two, so it can attack twice when it activates mm -hmm. with two separate weapons. Cover one, so it automatically blocks one hit. Uh, immune to blast and melee. Yeah, unsurprisingly, you can't punch it because it's full. <laughs> yeah, shotgun, right? And, uh, yeah, but being immune to blast. So any so, yeah, anti-vehicle we anti anti -vehicle weapons won't get there. Some sort of fragmentation. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, sp and speed of two. Um, while moving, ignore terrain that is height two or lower when you activate the four. Higher speed than the speed is. Yeah. 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 Which it does make sense. Yeah, yeah like that's a nice thematic build. Mm. Speaking of which. Oh. You all right? Yeah. You so, Carl, that we've seen before. About. Comms jammer. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah perfect okay. sense. Um, we have a harpoon gun. Yay. Yeah. Uh, so T forty seven air speeder only, uh, impact one fixed to the rear arc and tow cable. After a vehicle is wounded by an attack that includes this weapon, perform a pivot with that vehicle. Pivot is you can uh, turn, uh, turn up to nine, up to ninety degrees. So you can hook the tow cable onto and you can turn an enemy vehicle and you can spin them. Yes. Yeah. So which was. Fuck up the speeder bikes if they've got to do a compulsory move. I mean, well, that's it, they all kind of spin them out, yeah. Catapult them into a tree. Um, and we've got a ground buzzer, which is obviously like a, a, a uh, cannon at the back. Yeah, T47 only fixed rear attack with four black dice. Um, we also have the, which he obviously does need, a long range yeah. com links because it's flying right out. Yeah, yeah. and uh, often, yeah. And the really sexy one is. Oh, Wedge! <laughs> oh, Wedge Antilles is a named character. Hold out hope for Dak. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rebel only, unsurprisingly. Repulsor vehicle only. I could do a full pivot. Um, until the end of your activation, you gain full pivot. When you pivot, you can pivot up to 360 degrees. Jesus. Yes, he's going to turn. 
He's, yeah, he's going to be snagging things with his Because the standard pivot is 90 degrees. Yeah, so, so you can snap back yeah. like a K-turn from x Wing. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's... And I'm, we're just pleased to see Wedge, aren't we? Yes, yes I, 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 yeah. I I kept that one to the last. Excellent. Yeah. I'm really impressed by that. This, is, this cool. is a nice model. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I can't wait to see that one start turning up in our games. Yes. Not long. I'll paint it as quickly as I can. I'm interested to see what's coming next. <laughs> what could be bigger than that? I don't know. Let me think. That's, that's no move. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the big one. I don't know what this is. The Imperial Faction AT-ST unit expansion. Awesome. Some lovely artwork there, which is either Mustafar or Sallust, I'm guessing. Sallust probably so makes most yeah. sense, yeah. I'd love to have done the Mustafar terrain one, but it was just so impractical. Yeah. yeah. I can believe hot. it. Yes. And, uh, oh, let's. Is there a scale shot there? Little, little scale shot there. He's um, oh, my word, he's going to be quite tall. Yes, that seems fair. Yeah, seems that's going to be scary on the board, you know? Yeah. That's what I love about it. In any miniature war game, when you've got a big piece like that, um, you, it is legitimate psychological warfare at the tabletop. Do you want to and see that on a three foot by three foot square? I've seen it in, <laughs> I've seen it in Dungeon Crawls, I've seen it in 40 I've even seen it in Hero Clicks. When someone's got a big model that mm. is psychological warfare, you're instantly wary of it, you're scared yeah. of it. Mm. Um, and it, yeah, this on the tabletop is going to get your opponent's attention. Excited. So I'm very, I'm very interested to see what's inside this box. Hey Rob, we got right where we're at. Hey, something to look at. And it's not just in so many pieces. It's practically a jigsaw puzzle. 106 pieces. Oh man. It's not popping me down. Yeah. I'm sensing it might be a bit more assembly. Well, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, not too not, grim. Though you got like a not not panel not a, leg. And, uh, not a lot more than you got in the Imperial Sword. Sort of body is honest, mainly yeah. there, isn't it? I thought at first you were going to be putting the sides on. Yeah, no, yeah, not a lot more than the Imperial Sword ATST. To be honest with you. Nice. Then there's <sighs> the. Oh, you got underneath wires and that sort of thing. It's yeah. That's all. Cabling. Queen. Yeah. I'll pop that out. Yeah. And then there's the one that one looks like. And this kind of looks like all the parts for no, one there's leg. There's a little more detailing on the on the leg by the look of it. Yeah. But that's cool. It's there's a fair bit, bit hard. fair bit of odds and sods in the back. So you've got... The head looks like it's on a ball socket. You've got so the hydraulics at the back. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. that's really good attention yeah. to detail. So I'll pop it over a little yeah. bit. That's so that's obviously really someone's... That's partly constructed, surely. It's not got yeah. moulded like that, is it? Someone's taken that step a bit the further. Working, that's, that's quite impressive. I think yeah. that might be ready, actually. I'll just taste it to be sure. It's a weird take. New out. rules. Ooh, okay. Uh, this section contains a brief description of the new rules introduced in the ATST expansion. The four rules can be found in rules reference. Uh, Arsenal X. When choosing weapons during the form attack pool step of an attack, each mini in a unit that has the Arsenal X keyword can choose a number of its weapon equal to the value of X. Each chosen weapon contributes its dice and keywords to the attack pool. Uh, suppressive. After defending against an attack that includes a weapon with a suppressive keyword, the defender gains an additional suppression token. Uh, weak point X rear. While a unit within the weak point X rear keyword is defending, if the attacker's unit leader is inside a rear firing arc of a defender, the attack pool gains impact equal to the value of X. Okay, pretty simple. What you got? I've got lots of cards. Loads of cards. <laughs> nice picture. No, oh, there's a lovely picture. So it's got fixed front and impact free. Yeah, okay. You're hearing the sound effects in your head, right? Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. So it's got, uh, armor while defending, cancel all hit results. So only critical hits count against it. Arsenal 2, so it can wear attacks, it can use up to two weapons. And weak point ear 1, so uh, while defending, if the attacker's unit leader is inside your rear arc, they get impact 1. Okay. That's pretty cool. And I'll take it this thing can go backwards as well. Uh, walkers can reverse, yeah. yeah reverse cool. at speed 1. Got some life. 11 hit points, yeah. is that 8 to yeah. damage, isn't it? Yeah. And then the defense surge to a block. That bloody hell, that blaster cannon. <laughs> it's a range of four, two of each dice. Wow. That's, you don't want to be and in that line of arc. It's yeah. got a melee weapon as well. Fence cutting blades. Mm. Yeah. If by fence you mean Wookiees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fence cutting blades. And uh, standard markers. So there we have the activation marker, damage markers, vehicle critical damage, and dodge and aim. Okay. 
And here comes the little fiscal okay, cards again. Yeah, let's go to Ian's yeah. walkie corner. <laughs> <laughs> We've got comms jammer, she's useful. Uh, uh, yeah, and obviously an orange, 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 orange comms as we saw earlier. We've seen that one before. Uh, concussion grenade launcher. Okay, uh, range one or two, two black dice, ATST only, fixed to the front and has blast, ignores cover. Twin light blasters. Uh, ATST only, impact one, so if it's attacking vehicles, hits count as crits, okay. and fixed front. And he has a mortar. Mortar, okay, ATST only, unsurprisingly. Um, fixed front, suppressive, after you perform an attack, the defender this weapon was used against gains as one suppression token. And we've got a general. Oh, look, General Vice, who's general the Vice. main villain from the original campaign in Imperial Assault. He's the one in the court, right? Yes, he is. Box, yeah. Yeah. He, 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 in the, uh, the first campaign in Imperial Assault, he's building the modified ATST. Ah. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So what does he do? So Imperial only, ground vehicle only. Uh, until the end of your activation, you gain Arsenal 2 when attacking each of your minis can use up to two of its weapons. So there's no sense putting him in an ATSD because the ATSD can do that anyway, is that right? Uh, it sounds well, like it seems like it sounds like you can outfit everybody with that rather than just the ATSD. Is that right? This unit, yeah, so this unit, Arsenal 2 for this unit, yeah, and then that one give, allows everybody to have two, I guess. Maybe I'm Maybe. Them. Each so of your minis them. can use up to two of its weapons. So there's like joystick as well. Oh yeah, that says right. each mini in this unit, that says each of your minis. Yeah. Wow, that is... So he kicks out the whole, yeah. whole shebang. Nice. And then Brain is like, bitch please. Yeah. And it just cuts through the entire So, thing. yeah, that, that, that's, that's like the speakers as well. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I guess yeah. so. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, so in the Imperial Assault campaign, he's got an ATST which just loaded with weapons. Yeah. So he's maxes it all out. That's um, God, that is large. That is rather big feet you've got. Thank you, Nancy. That's that's gonna look good, isn't it? That's a good that's awesome. Good. Yeah, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. join us in a few minutes for the roundup. Okay, so that's for Wave One expansions for Star Wars Legion. Yeah. Initial impressions. I want to play with them. You want to play with them. <laughs> <laughs> really, really good. Um, obviously, there's repetition in the core set. Yeah. But this is, um, I do think, if you do want to double up and you want to play as both Rebel and Imperial, mm -hmm. the second core set is the way to go. Okay. Yep. Um, so I think I worked it out. Uh, I found an online, online retailer that was doing the core set for about 62. Okay. Um, and if you bought these, the same amount of models using these, you're looking at uh, plus the extra dice and the extra yeah, orders. That's dice it was north of £140. Right. So if you do want to do, if you want to double up and you want to play both sides, and you want two same baders? Core set. Yeah. yeah. Two baders? Um, <laughs> why not? Though? If you um, are only playing one side or if you are desperate for those cards which are exclusive to the which expansions, a nice tweak, which is obviously why FFG have done this, yeah, yeah. Uh, then yeah, pick these, pick one of these packs up. Cool. Um, if you want to go balls deep, and you want to be playing those 1600 point epic mm. battles, took two cores and one of each of these. That would that would that would be yeah. the right score. Yeah, maybe, maybe two ATSDs if you're feeling especially flush. They are big. They're quite large. They are large. Um, for three, so for three for. obviously the, there was no real surprises. But I was impressed actually if there was the alternate sculpts on the jet bike. Yeah. Yeah. So I was expecting most people. I just thought it was yeah. just going to be a dupe of that. Yeah. 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 But the yeah, the, the, the be, AT, it he be is different. different. Yeah, he has to, he has a different sculpt. In the corset, he's got a blaster rifle in one hand. Okay, so he's got both hands on the handlebars. So maybe the so where the legs so are it might be slightly. Yeah, so yeah, they are ever so slightly different. So you can just pick them apart on the battlefield, I suppose. And the T forty seven with wedge. With a wedge, wedge. Wedge. Yeah. wedge. Yeah, how excited were we? That's really good. Yeah, that was, that was such a nice. Part. And it was big. Yes. We, we knew it was going to be big and we were still surprised still how big. large it was. Big. It's a uh, big ass piece of it's, 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 it's a big flight unit. stand as well. Yes. So that's going to look so good zooming it's across your great. table. Like yeah. Indeed. Yeah. And a level two flight as well. Yes. So, yeah. So I'll zoom over most cover. Yeah. 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 Some of our new terrain coming. Yes. Look out. Look out for that. <laughs> um, the T47, I was really impressed with. If I was a rebel player, and I play both sides, obviously. Um, we have heard. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Uh, but then I, I'd be all over this. I think that's yeah, uh, everyone's going to want one of those. The long range yeah. uh, commands and the command cancelling powers were added as well. Yes, yeah, so yeah. you haven't got to worry about clearance. That's just like an me. instant strategic switch. Hmm. I mean, imagine something. I, I don't know if Heroclix has ever done something like that where you can stop your opponent from giving an action to a certain character. But it's that kind of impact it will have. Hmm. Yeah. They'd have to be a box out. I don't certainly want stone with power. No, nothing springs to mind. You can reduce mm -hmm. action totals using. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. encumber people. Yeah, like you yeah. say, it's more yeah. likely to be a box hour. Um, and the other thing about it being wedging there as well is that's the next named character. We had Luke and we had Vader and the Corsair. Those, awesome are the only, those are the only named characters in the Corsair. Yeah. So it's a wedge. Yeah. Who's you know. And that, three major battles in the original trilogy. And that incredible pivot skill he's got. Oh, but he does, well, he does the K-turn from x Yes. So you just stop yeah. and just... So he could, in an ideal world, which is, it is any world in the time not rolling the dice, he <laughs> could zoom turn off, round. spin in front of the uh, speeder bikes, fire off a tow cable so you can then pivot them so they're pointing at a brick wall, and then you can pivot back their way to pop them with your front cannon. All he needs to do is... Point them to the edge of the map because they have to action. Yeah, and so you, if you go off the map, a you're tree, gone. a building. Yeah. yeah, but so you can shoot past them, hit with a tow cable, point yeah. them at something hard, mm. and then K turn. So if, even if they do survive, you've got the main cannons lined up on it. Yeah. Could you theoretically just pilot as normal and then just do a three hundred sixty degree turn and just carry on going? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's, 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 a, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a light one burst. Yeah. 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 So if you wanted to do my sort of delightful yeah. brand of wargaming whimsy, yeah. you could actually deliver a payload and then turn around. Yeah. 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 But yeah. No, he, as Rob said, you could do a full 360 if you wanted to. Why not? You would achieve nothing. But yeah. He could. He could. And that's the word for my wargaming whimsy. It's achieving nothing. <laughs> yeah. No, but if the, if the other <laughs> opponent yes, was yeah. if the, the other opponent was lining up a weapon to expect it to arrive. Yeah, and then you did that, and yeah. obviously would throw that right yeah, out. Yeah, that's so. Uh, so Wedge is incredibly powerful. Yeah, yeah. and he's, he's, he's a pretty versatile piece. Yeah, yeah, he's he's an awesome character anyway. Yeah, I kind of hope he, obviously he's since Canary, but it'd be nice if he got some more books and comics. It would be nice to get some love. Yeah, and of course for Granddad, oh, oh, yeah. oh down. Oh. <laughs> It's so cool. Did you hear that thump against the wood? <laughs> What's that? The, the, the ATST. Yeah. Was it, was it was the size amazing. you were expecting? Uh, I didn't expect it to be so hard, tall. It's hard to say. I get the feeling it will be what yeah, I expected. Yeah, just going on the size of the cockpit, it was larger than I expected. It is rather large. Yeah. Yeah. And the detail. And those it's underneath the net. There's some serious things. firepower yeah. behind him as well. And it's got a mortar. Hmm. A mortar. Yeah, and uh, so General Vice is in there, which is a nice little nod for players of Imperial Assault. And he was uh, like a technocrat, he was going to, he, he had a modded yes. ATS. Yeah, so practically yeah, yeah, that good, upgrade so. to let every yeah. model in your army do a double attack. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's pretty mighty. Yeah. It's looking good. Yeah, looking so good. And, and again, I say I still am in love with the box art for this kind of stuff. It's very it cool. Just looks, yeah. um, it looks like Black Series. Versus yes, action action figures. Figures. Versus yeah. Versus standard action figures. Yeah, there, so there's nothing wrong with the, the box art for no. Legion or totally. not Legion for I keep saying Legion. I've got Legion on Mars dyslexia, which is a terrible show for me to go through. Um, <laughs> the the extreme packaging is fine, yep. but it, it, it is a certain style. It's a certain st style, and the, the Armada one is, is Armada since its inception was priced it's as a higher as a. X-Wing is a great, you, I mean, you can get really into X-Wing, yep. um, but it is also a great casual game. Yes. With Armada, they went, it's not a casual game, and no. priced and made yes. rules accordingly. Yeah. And that's fine, there's, there's, cool. there's space for both types of games. Sure. Yeah. Uh, this is almost like they said, a Black Series on top of that. This mm -hmm. looks like, ex this is executive level wargaming. Yeah, this is your, you know, your, this is, this your is, 12 years. This is your of five star pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> This is your, you know, oak yeah. barrel aged yes. twelve year sipping whiskey. Versus your <laughs> yeah. Red label. This, is, also this isn't just a stormtrooper. This is a Marks and Spencer stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> Still misses. Uh, but um, so super excited. So we're going to have to get. Wait to get so someone's going to have to assemble and paint these. I think so. Yeah. You. It's very, very likely me. All that money I spent on There's that man, but here we are. Quite a lot of uh, workload here, though. So yeah, that's well. fine. I'm. I'm, I'm I wonder which one you're going to pick first to do. Um, I will probably save him until last to be honest okay. with you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the big ones I tend to ramp up to is a bit. Mm -hmm. Get the on in practice, yeah. Um, it's, this is double the size of the games from the Corsair though. 
Yes. Yeah, it's actually doubled the points. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. mean, that's good. you should be able to get 800 point forces. On, I think yeah. it's certainly yeah. used on the upgrades. Yeah, level. I mean, so this with all its upgrades, that's quite a chunky part of your loadout. Oh god, yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, sorry, that's what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, but see, if you can tell, I was <laughs> excited about. Um, yeah, and I, I'm wondering what's going to come next. Is it, I mean, are there any bigger vehicles we can do in the ATST? They've, they've said they're not doing an attack because it's outside the well, scale. Well, it'd be crazy, game. yeah. It's, there's not going to be much bigger than this, really. Tie strikers, maybe. Maybe that might work. Yeah. Tie strikers and U wings. U wing. A broke one U wing would be lovely. Yeah. They've yeah. got one for X wing. So it depends on which where they're going to go with this. It could get the best bin flyers. You could get something like oh, that. Oh, best bin flyers. Yeah. 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 They weren't too big. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be tricky to work them in though because they're they're space from low cut. Yeah. They're located yeah. from. Yeah. They work in X wing. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're all space. It's all space flight. Yeah. But yeah. sort of, with that said, there's nothing to stop them just making new stuff up because the yeah. uh, the decimator mm -hmm. for a, was created for X-wing, yeah, and it was turned up in Armada and then it's turned up in comics cool. since then. Uh, the Gazanti um, tie carrier, I believe, was originally in X-wing and then turned up into the ship in Rebels. That sounds possible. I'm not sure how old it is. A little bollocking Brad Barr down there, if I'm wrong. I was under the impression it, it, it's, it's, we don't it's, know it's, what the other ways. Just leave the graphic up and then yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty, me game. We're not sure what the other ways are going to be. It could go anyway. You could yeah. have you could have Ewoks. You could have. Oh, no, uh, I, I think I will. Love yeah, I think Ewoks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think there'll be some. Uh, I don't think they're going to migrate outside the original trilogy. A lot of people seem to be speculating that they will, but. Just Star Wars' entire marketing perspective at the moment, I don't think it will. No, I think you might be right there. I, th I think most likely what they might do to expand it out beyond the Emp uh, the Empire Rebels is to have some kind of forces you can make. Like, I mean, Jabba's is a bad example, but yeah, yeah. races of aliens that are in the original mm -hmm. trilogy that you be, be able to build a force out of. So yeah. then they have a bit more scope to sure. create some units that you haven't seen. That's what Jubax was. Well, I was going to say, yeah, yeah. yeah. what's yeah. roughly the same size in Imperial Assault as the ATST is for Rancor. Oh, there you go. Mm. Rancor for Legion. Scum and Villainy. Uh, oh, that's, 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 that's a chaotic neutral, though, isn't it? Would Scum and Villainy kind of mobilise as an army, though? I mean, there's a small battles. They're not generally yes. more than 50 soldiers aside. It's a small battle, mm. but you would have to go to a Hulk cartel or possibly Black Sun for that kind of military power. Mandalorians? Oh, Death Watch would be lovely. It's a possibility. Yeah, that could tell us. Mandalorian allying with the Bounty Hunters Guild. Oh, yeah. We're getting off topic, but we've all got the whole. It's all, it's all. Yeah. 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 Um. So the Wave 1 expansions, thumbs up, thumbs down? Really exciting. We're excited really about the ATST. Yeah, I do like the way they've modded them slightly. Even yeah, the so yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, 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 they didn't have to do that. No, not at all. And they no. could have just been carbon copies, one from the core set, yeah. and we wouldn't have thought any of less of it. The fact they've made that little bit of effort. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's yeah, um, sure. Yeah, um, so, Rob, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me. We'll, we'll, we'll have to come, have come back home to Tesco with the new stuff. Sounds like a plan. Yeah. Man. Okay, so we'll get this on the table yeah. as yeah. soon as Brad can paint them. He does have other games to paint as well. <laughs> uh, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> we did I'm it to never, ourselves. Never going to get my dreadful dwarf to. Um, <laughs> Cry, my, uh, I can't even say it. Cry me a river, Nick Face. My elf team isn't even out of the spirits. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is, we've been Fire When Ready, which is a Star Wars Legion series for Emotionally14.com. Um, if you want to keep up with what we're doing, then check, keep, check out Emotionally14.com. Uh, there's Star Wars Legion, there's Hero Clicks, there's Star Wars Destiny, there's other Star Wars things and other gaming things, as well as comics and movies and all other sort of things within the geeky hemisphere. We run the gamut. We do, we really do. Um, if you want to hear what we're doing, you can follow them on Twitter at Emotionally14, and you can also search for Emotionally14 on Facebook. Um, if you want to join the, the group chats on Facebook, then we tend to like this in with the E14 game costs. Yes. Yeah, it's a E14 game cost group and where all the Legion and Brick Fury stuff crops up. Yeah, there. if you want a new group, just ask. We'll yeah. Relatively, relatively accommodating. Yeah, but it, it's relatively cheap to do so. Yeah. Um, if you want to keep up with what I'm doing uh, between shows, I'm on Twitter and Instagram at RealBradHB and you can search for Brad Harmer Barnes on Facebook. Ian, where can people find you? I'm just on Instagram or you can bump into me in the streets. Oh, I'm great old one. <laughs> you can walk into you. Maybe bump into me. Bump. Oh, I'm, bump. <laughs> I'm reversing. Yeah. Speed one. <laughs>
Hey, uh, Rob, where can people find you? Uh, so you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rob Wade Vision, and uh, anything that I do that's not emotionally 14 is at talkstarwars.co.uk. He's awesome. on the streets as well. He's on the yeah, streets. That's, yeah. <laughs> I will talk about Star Wars for money. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best job in the world. It really is. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, until next time, so we get this paint out, we'll have a test game out for you very soon. Wave two, wave 2 is on the horizon, which is Han Solo, Princess Leia, General Veers and Snow Troopers. Oh, brilliant. So hopefully we'll be able to report on those guys very soon oh, as well. Cool. Thanks very much, guys. We'll see you very soon.